Hey everybody, this is Phoenix Down, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past Randomized. In the last episode, we defeated Blind the Thief and acquired a couple more items, the Fire Rod and the Hookshot. And now that I have those at my disposal, in today's episode, we're going to get attacked by a ghost, and we're also going to head over to the Skull Woods. I feel like that might be an omen for the way this episode might potentially go, because, uh, Skull Woods is one of my least favorite dungeons in the game. I mean, the dungeon itself isn't so bad, but I'm not a fan of the boss. If you've played the game before, you know what I mean. Before we do that, though, I'm going to head over to where the lumberjack shop, or the house is in the light world, because that is, uh, that contains a, uh, a uh, item shop, so I can, uh, buy a potion to replenish uh, one of my bottles. Fortunately, we got these really nasty pterodactyl, or enemy things. I'm not quite sure what to actually call them. I did not brush up on the bestiary before playing this game. And while we're over here, well, there's some bombs up there. Uh, you know what? Never mind. I was going to say, since we have the hookshot and the magic cape, we can get that treasure, but that's not worth our time. So let's just head over to the, uh, the, the item shop and just cut our losses there. Or whatever. So I'm going to buy a red potion, put that in one of my bottles, and move on. I was really hoping something would be sitting up there on that ledge, because uh, you need the hookshot to get over a gap, and you need the uh, magic cape to get past this weird uh, bouncing, like, pinball-style bumper thing. I don't know what, why those things are even in the game in the first place, but there you go. But okay, it's time to head over to the Skull Woods now. I believe uh, this cave right here is the entry we want to take. I guess I could have replenished my health at that fortune teller's house, but I think I'll be okay. The dungeon's not that hard, although it is pretty frustrating at times. I think there's a hole over this way. Uh, I hate these uh, weird creature things. They steal uh, items out of you. And I'm going the wrong direction. The hole I want to take is over that way. Yeah, that thing, it's worse than like-likes in this game. So let's go down in this hole down here. We'll land over here. I'm going to switch over to the fire rod just because it's pretty useful in this dungeon. I really should have looked up the bestiary before playing. I don't know what to call half the enemies anymore. It's been, you know, I haven't played this game properly since the, uh, okay, that works, since the uh, last LP I did. So I'm going to switch to the hook shot. All right, moving out of the way. I don't... Yeah, just a heart. Well, I'll take the heart. That comes in handy. There we go. Yeah, unfortunately, I still do not have the Master Sword, obviously. If you've been following along before, that should come as no surprise. And these pink guys take a lot of punishment. If I just stick the sword out there and jab it enough times, eventually it'll stop. There we go. And I got a single rupee for my trouble. And of course, once I open that treasure chest, the holes in the floor are going to open up. But here we get the compass. Okay, well, at least it's not going to be the uh, item drop that Mafula will give me. Let's see. Uh, I think I want to go up here first. Yeah, now it's time to break out the fire rod because we have Gibdos. Everyone's favorite mummy monster. And there's going to be a ceiling master dropping eventually. Take that. Yeah, here we go. I knew you were around here somewhere. Crap. Don't think... Yeah, I can't shoot over the skulls. And they, uh, they have a one-track mind. They will follow you around quite relentlessly. If we take them out... And then I'll open up this door here. And there's the big chest that I can't do anything with yet. And I'm going to... Go back around, actually, and I'm going to take the uh, lower door, because I know that leads to a chamber that I could drop into from the ceiling, but I figure I may, as, since I'm already inside the dungeon, I may as well just go for it now, and we'll take this door here. The door's going to lock behind me. I spent a lot of time in this room as a kid, because I kept accidentally falling in here unintentionally. Alright, take that. Ooh, another Gibdo. Can I shoot over those? Alright, I can. Nice. Ooh, that's a big, big magic bottle. I need that. Full restoration. And 
another ceiling master. And here we get another little key. Well, I'm definitely going to need that later. Another heart. Almost full. So, yeah, I'll just let those hands drop from the ceiling. I needed that key in order to get out of this room. So, I guess I could have just bypassed it and it wouldn't have mattered. Oops. Yeah, I'm trying to line him up to go into the hole, but that didn't work out so well. Gonna hit that. Get this chest with the big key. All right. And I need the hook shot to get across here. Ha 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 ha. Take that. Take out the, uh, the little Helmosaur, or I guess it's just a regular Helmosaur, that's what they're called. I whip out my bombs to put a hole in this wall here. So far things are going relatively smoothly, but it's the beginning of the dungeon, so... There's plenty of time for me to screw things up. Let's see, yeah, there's a couple mini Moldorms. Yeah, these are the mini enemies. Take those guys out. What do we have in here? We got 20 rupees! Again, that's... Is, well, no, I didn't get the big chest in the last dungeon, but I found 20 rupees in the last dungeon, too. But okay, I think that concludes our business in this area. So now I need to find a different hole in the ground to get to the second stage of the dungeon. See, I like the concept of the Skull Woods, because, uh, you know, the, the woods itself is also part of the dungeon. So it's, it's a nice touch. It's... It's pretty creative. All right, we enter this uh, dungeon to get into phase two. Take out the uh, electric uh, octopus things. I really wish I could remember their names. I'll uh, throw it up on the screen at some point in this video. If I haven't already done so, I'll do it now. Take these guys out. All right. Let's see, what's over here? Let me check over here before I progress onwards. Okay, yeah, that's right. That's nothing I can do with right now. So I'll just dash in here. The enemy should still be gone. Just wait for the hand to drop. There we go. This guy likes to uh, show up when you're pushing the statue around. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm not going to talk quite as much for this room just so I can listen to the audio cue. Crap, crap, crap. All right, there we go. Should be in the clear now. Into the door. Ah, nuts. Get out of my way. Ooh. Ah, nuts. That did not go quite according to plan. Take that. Ah, I should have known better. There we go. Now you We'd really love to have sword beams, but that wouldn't be an option anyway. And here we get a little key. Okay, well, that comes in handy. I'm gonna pull out my bombs. I think this is just a large magic jar, but I will take it because I could use the uh, the boost. Unfortunately, I do not have the uh, the uh, the bo the uh, the curse in quotations for. Uh, granting you uh, half uh, your magic cost that you get from, I think it's called the Mad Batter, or something like that. Okay, can't really do anything else here, so I'm just going... Well, actually, I think there might be a key in one of these. Skulls. Yep, there we go. Okay. But my memory has not failed me yet. Now, before I go over to the final stage of the dungeon, I'm going to head over here and drop into a hole in the ground to reach uh, that room, the upper half of that larger room that I couldn't really advance into because of that hole in the way. So I'm going to show up down here. And of course, these guys are going to be everywhere, and the ceiling masters are still a thing. Of course, that's not getting old anytime soon. There we go. Don't want to... I guess there's nothing up here after all, is there? I always expect there to be something more of... Oh, wait, it's the next room that that matters, of course, because I have to hit the star platform to get rid of the holes here so I can access this room, and there's nothing here, of course. So, yeah, this is a waste of time. Totally forgot about that. It's one of those trap rooms. A waste of a key, but they give you enough keys so it's not like it matters. But for whatever it's worth, we get map completion. Which reminds me, I haven't gotten the map yet. I wonder if that's what Mafula is going to give me. Taking all bets now. 
But yeah, you have to use the fire rod to uh, open up the passage to the final stage of the dungeon. The, the fire rod is the normal dungeon item of this area. So we're going this way around. Oh crap, I screwed up. Down. Ah, crap. Eh, uh, nuts. Guess I could have just whipped out the uh, magic cape and dodged it there, but I didn't, I didn't fake fast enough on that one. So let's get up on top. Ah, uh, crap. Gibdo. Take that. Yeah, sometimes when you set Gibdos on fire, they will give you full uh, magic power back, but I haven't been that lucky. Nuts. Okay, there. I knew there was a second one there somewhere. So, just wait for the curse to wear off, and... Oh, we got the map. Okay, now I'm curious what I'm going to get from uh, Mafula. Alright, uh, I didn't see what I got back there. With my luck, that would have been the full magic jar, and I just, like, totally bypassed it. Because I didn't see it. Such is my lot in life, I suppose. Going too far. Okay, got a lot of activity over here all of a sudden. Well, that was nice. Use my last key here, and we're progressing nicely. Take that. Yeah, racking my brain trying to remember what these things are called. Take that. I think you get a magic jar from that skull, but I don't really need that one. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. I knew it had to happen sooner or later. Well, when you get hit by a, uh, a ceiling master, they take you back to the entrance of the dungeon. Fortunately, because there are multiple segments of this dungeon, it's not that big of a penalty, but it's still annoying. Oh, crap. Okay, I was worried I was going to go for two for two. These, uh, these little octopod things will zap you if you're not careful. Yeah, unfortunately, everything respawns. Uh... Oops, I missed. Yeah, just clear out the Gibdos first. And the Ceiling Master, of course. Blast these, these uh, lanterns. Light everything up and advance. Okay, now I gotta just run. Run, run, or you'll be well done. Okay, two for one special. Alright. Slice a hole in the weird vines here, and you find a secret passage. I wish they did that more in this game, because as often as those, those things kind of decorate the walls in, of areas, it's like not enough, uh, I don't know, they don't do enough with it to make it worthwhile. Oh, nope, don't walk into it. They almost walked into its warm embrace there. And the moment of truth. At least I'm doing all right. So now it's time for the boss battle against Mafula. Now the thing about Mafula, if you've played my previous Let's Play, or watch my previous Let's Play. He is designed to be immune to damage by spikes, but so if you actually knock him into spikes when you hit him, it does not register as damage dealt. So, you have to be careful when you hit him, and I'm out of magic power, but I think... Oh, I'm doing okay so far, so... I'm, Okay, I spoke too soon. I'm going to uh, toggle over to my green potion. I'm going to refill my magic. And then I'm going to draw back out my fire rod. And that's... And what the... Okay, well, somehow that killed him. I'll take... Ooh! We got this king of Samaria. That means that, uh, well... Uh, Turtle Rock might be an option. I, we may need the Magic Hammer still for that one. But, yeah, with that, that that'll come in handy in uh, Dungeons uh, 6 and 7. It's alright. We're sitting pretty right now. 
Uh, we're doing pretty well time-wise, too. Didn't expect to uh, clear that dungeon out quite so fast. So I guess I will uh, backtrack out of the Skull Woods. And we'll figure out where to go from here. Uh, there aren't that many treasures down this way, so I think I'm going to head south. Because if I just go uh, east of uh, the village of Outcast and you know where like the sanctuary would be in uh, Light World, there's really nothing there, like literally like nothing, nothing worthwhile. So we'll go down this way, uh, but not down that way, and uh, head south and see if we can figure something else out. We can't do the Swamp Palace yet because we still don't have the mirror which is unfortunate. But uh, we might be able to find something that we can work with. And I've just run. <laughs> Fortunately, I move faster than these guys. But yeah, we still don't have the magic hammer, so I can't do the uh, bonus little puzzle thing outside of the uh, the uh, blacksmith's shop at what it would be uh, you know, over on this screen here. I can pass through these, you know, these blocks but I can't hammer down these pegs to get that treasure that's underneath that s stump. And I can't pick up the chest here, not that it would do me good anyway, because I don't have the mirror. So, just kind of laying some groundwork for stuff to find later. Getting the magic hammer is going to require some backtracking here, so good to know everything that I have to accomplish when that time comes. We can't access Misery Mire yet, because we need the mirror, and I need to have the ether uh, medallion as well. It's about to say, ooh, there's a treasure back there, but no, that's another case where I need the magic mirror to do anything with it. Is there anything up this way? And yeah, my memory of like dark world items and such is fuzzier than in the light world, but yeah, this is the bomb shop. I don't have any business here. I seriously doubt that it's gonna have anything for me yet. Yeah, it's, I'm gonna have to get I'm going to have to clear the Palace of Darkness and the Turtle Rock Dungeon to get the Super Bombs to appear. I guess I could go down this way. and There's a wall I can bomb here. This is probably just a fairy fountain, but good to uh, cover my options anyway. And I just took some damage, so I may as well uh, replenish if that's the case. Oh, there's a thief guy here. Oh, and we got 20 rupees. Okay, well, use a treasure guy. So, not a wasted effort after all. But what's back here? Ooh. The magic mirror, all right. I knew I had to find that sooner or later. The final bottle and a heart container piece. Very fruitful uh, treasures over here. And the mirror is a great boon for sure because my options have just like gone through the roof at this point. I can do so many things now, and I'm not even sure where to begin. Well, I, actually, I could begin by doing the Swamp Palace next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. So this has been Phoenix Down, and I will see you guys next time.